Michael. Man cow. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Do we know each other? Uh, we do not. Although back when I was in high school, I heard you on my friend's cars in the radio waiting to go in for school. So I feel like <laughs> I've known you for a long time. But no, we have never met. No, because I hear that in your voice like like you know me. Okay. Uh, no, no, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't want to overdo it. I'm just saying it. It sounded like anyway. I just had that feeling that we knew each other. We don't. Uh, make Hollywood great again. Uh, it, it, fascinating stuff. You've also written books on David Fincher, who I, who I dig. What a great director, huh? What do you think Fincher's uh, best work is? Uh, my favorite Fincher film is Gone Girl. How do you think he did with uh, Alien? It was an Alien Three. Alien Three, yeah. I think with the case of Alien 3, he was trying to uh, go out there and, and do things more edgy. Yeah. The studio didn't like it. There was a lot of back and forth. Yeah. But before Fincher came on, that script was rewritten at least a dozen times. The, the studio ruined it. I, I, I liked his idea of a wooden-based, uh, uh, everything made of wood, prison planet kind of, or a place for monks or whatever it was supposed to be. Uh, and then he also did, uh, didn't he do, uh, what's the, I can't even remember the name, but what's the movie with the head in the box? The Seven. He, he did that, right? Yeah. 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 And, and ironically, it was because of Alien 3, uh, which a lot of people didn't like, except I some did. young actor named Brad Pitt. And he goes, wow, I'll work with this guy. Wow. And then that's where Seven started. That's, you know, Seven uh, kind of got through the greenlit because of uh, Pitt's, I like this Alien 3 yeah. movie. So You know, at, at one point in our lives, we had great movies every weekend. And so some of the movies were like, eh. Now when you see those mediocre movies from 20 years ago, they're fantastic because everything now sucks so much. Uh, the messaging, the rap music, the uh, just the, the, the social justice warrioring. Evil has a name. It's Kathleen Kennedy. She ruined Star Wars. She wanted it to be for little girls. Too late. They had already made six movies aimed at little boys, and uh, she really ruined it. Um, oh, Star Wars. And you you could tell from the, the first one of the new, The Force Awakens, all the way through to The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. You saw that thing straight through and you go, no, 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 no. When you made that first movie, you didn't know how the thing was going to end. You started to write it as you guys were making the movies. Mm -hmm. well, look at how it turned out. How? It doesn't like, well, that doesn't really work, so, does it? So people hate these movies. They don't hit. Uh, yes, I know Star Wars made money, I'm sure, because it has the name Star Wars. But um, even these TV shows, like I, I, I would lament something like, um, you know, two to two and a half million people. Watching this show, we had two million people for our TV show on the History Channel, and uh, you know they're they're happy, but but Anderson Cooper has two hundred thousand, and everybody knows his name. Uh, boy, they you know Don Lemon, nobody's watching, but boy, they'll they'll promote it. So it's it's amazing. It's a weird business in Hollywood because if you'll push the agenda, if you're pro-abortion, pro, -abortion, pro uh, you know you don't want to say too much about Epstein or Soros or whatever, you can make a lot of money being a sellout. I would agree. I'd agree. And especially with CNN, Anderson yeah. Cooper, and, yeah. and um, who's the guy you just mentioned? Lemon. Don Lemon. You know, CNN, and again, I'm speaking very broadly when I say this, though CNN is packaged into deals that places can buy. So, if, like, for example, okay, you have a home and you're going to buy this TV package. CNN is always in one of those things. Mm -hmm. That's why CNN, it, people know it and they know the names, even though not that many people watch it. It just always right. gets packaged in with what you buy. So, you know, you know we're, we're much bigger than many of the shows that will be uh, celebrated in the local media, the local radio shows. And, 100%. you know, they, they have, you know, a tenth of our audience. Uh, and uh, ah, they're the greatest uh, because they won't tell the truth about the looting and the rioting and, and all of this kind of stuff. I get on and tell the truth. And, and uh, well, you're punished. You're punished. The message bringer is always killed. Uh, so uh, you have this you have this uh, book you've written. Make Hollywood great again, folks. Don't don't turn it off yet. But cinema right now, uh, what 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 do you think they need to do to? Uh, I know they hate Orange Thanos, which is Trump, which I love that you call him that Orange Thanos. But uh, what what can we do to fix it? How do we fix? Uh, I just just stop going, really. Right? There's nothing for us anymore. They're doing movies for China. They don't have anything Christian, anything American. Well, those films are picking up. You have to look down, uh, look low at the box office. The Christian films are picking up money, and they've done it steadily over the course of 10 years. It's not no. going to happen overnight. That's right. Um, as you, you know, we talk about these big Did you talk to Mark Joseph? I have not. No, I have not. i got to hook you up with him. He's one of the big players behind the scenes, starting with uh, The Passion of the Christ. You know, they're doing a sequel to The Passion of the Christ. 
Yes, and I wish they'd hurry up and get it out. I'd like to see that. Oh, me too, man, about the resurrection of Christ. And, of course, that was the biggest independent film of all time. Uh, anyway, go ahead. So so what, you're, you're saying that uh, traditional values and, and traditional American thought, which is we haven't seen for 10 years in Hollywood, not, not much of it, you, you're telling me it's coming back? Uh, it's not, well, I'll tell you where it's not. It's not in the mainstream blockbusters that will make money, but you see people like yourself and I who just complained about Star Wars or how, like, even some of these Marvel movies, which most of them are good, but they're not incredible. The, the real, the, the, the great material is coming in the films that you really don't go and see. Yeah. You know, and yeah. those films I was picking, I thought 2019 had more, uh, very good films in it than, almost any year previous for the last 10 years. Yeah, well, that may be right. Did you see No Safe Spaces? I did see No Safe Spaces. Yeah, number one documentary, and Netflix doesn't want it. Why? Because of Obama. Obama's behind the scenes there. Unbelievable. Make Hollywood great again. Cinema in the Trump era. Michael Joles, thank you. Where anyone at all.